Hello, welcome back to Tips and Time Savers for Microsoft Excel. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to subtotal the data in our list. We want to see subtotals for the quota and the year-to-date sales every time we have a change in our territory. The first step to produce a subtotal is to sort the data according to the field for which we want to see a subtotal. In this case, it's the region in our territory. So let's go up to the data menu and we'll sort our data according to the territory field. We'll do it in ascending order, click OK. Now we have our data sorted according to each of our territories. So we can apply a subtotal whenever the value in the territory changes, in this case from Great Plains to Gulf Coast. Let's go back now to data and choose subtotals. In the dialog box, Excel successfully guessed that we want to have the subtotal apply to each change in the territory. And we want to apply a function uh, for the summarization. There are a total of 11 different functions that we can use. We want to use sum and we want to have it at the uh, bottom of the data. Click OK and there is our subtotal. We have a nice outline for our information over here. We can collapse or expand the information. We can also see our subtotal according to three different levels. At level one, we see the big picture. We get a subtotal showing the grand total. Level two is going to give us that nice compact summarization for each of the territories there. And once again, we see the expand and collapse buttons over here. So if I want to see the detail for the Midwest total, I just expand that area. And now here's our subtotal. Let's double click to see the formula. Excel said equals subtotal. And then we have the range C32 through C40. You may have a question about what's this nine? Remember that I showed you that there were 11 possible functions that we can use in subtotals, average, minimum, maximum, and summarization. Sum is the ninth in alphabetical sequence of the possible functions that we can use. So if we used average, we would see one in there. OK, let's collapse this. Let's go back to level three. Here's our outline. And let's go back and change the function. This time, we'll change it from nine, which is sum, to show another function, in this case, average. So we'll go back to data, subtotals, and everything will stay the same, except we're going to make the change. Over here, we're going to see the average for our subtotal. We're going to leave everything else in place, including the replace, meaning that we will no longer see the sum. We'll have it show the average. Click OK. There's our average. Double click over here. And notice that Excel changed from 9, which was summarization, to 1. You don't have to know this, but when you're looking at this and you are wondering what is this number 1 or this number uh, 9, that's exactly what it is. OK, let's go back and look at our subtotal dialog box once more. Another feature I'd like to point out is that when you are producing your subtotals for printing, you may want to see a page break between each of the groups. So if you wanted to hand each of the territory uh, managers their own report, choose the page break between groups. It's a nice feature. We're finished our lesson. Let's remove all of our subtotals. And there we have it. Our data is restored to the sort level that we chose. And that concludes our lesson in subtotals. We'll see you in the next edition of Tips and Time Savers.